Mike Wise, first question on the right side. Yeah, LeBron, uh, Mike Wise, ESPN's the undefeated. Just a, uh, Stefan was just asked uh, about whether or not he cares about being the face of the league and and supplanting LeBron James or not supplanting. Where are you on that? Do you care? And and is it something that uh, that means something to you to be thought of as the face of the league? Um, first of all, I think what, what, what I care about is being fortunate to be a part of this league. Um, I have no sense of entitlement to be in this league. Um, this is a fraternity, and uh, for me to even be a part of the 400 plus groups that 400 plus guys that we have in our league, um, I think it's it's an honor, and that's what I focus on. Um, I also focus on being a role model to the youth that looks up to me and, and what I'm able to do, um, not only on the court but off the court. So. Uh, me having the power for our youth to see better light or whatever the case may be, um, that's what I love more than anything. Um, so if that, if that comes with you know, my name or, or whatever I do on a day-to-day -day basis that the youth get to see uh, you know, how it should be done or how to, uh, you know, how to take advantage of any, any situation they're in, um, I, I'm okay with that. Jay, over here. And LeBron, I know you're... Versed in the, the history of the league and the, the rivalries that came before you, what's it like for you to, to forge these new experiences? You've had multiple finals against Tim Duncan, for example, going against Steph Curry this time again. What, what's it like to be in the middle of this? I think it's great. Um, it's great for our game. Um, it's great for you, you as an individual, just the, the, the competitive side of it, uh, to be able to face greats along your path. Um, it's something that you're going to hope that you can wish you can get back when you're done playing. You know, like you said, Jay, uh, I've been a, I've been fortunate to go against Duncan and KG and you know and Ray Allen and uh, and the great Piston team and, and now you know Steph, the great Steph and, and their Warriors team and uh, uh, so uh, I've been fortunate. Uh, I don't want to leave out Dirk as well. I faced Dirk in the finals and faced KD and Russ. So um, you know I've been very fortunate to go against some of the greatest players, um, you know, in their era and my era and. You know, we'll see after the air when I'm done. Kevin on the side. Uh, LeBron, Kevin Arnovitz, CSPN.com. On Friday, you spoke a lot about this newfound appreciation you have this postseason for what you've been able to accomplish. And for most people, getting to that new mindset is the result of specific events or conversations or just thoughts. I I'm just wondering what prompted you specifically this offseason to get to this new mindset? Uh, it's not a new mindset. Um, I think people have taken it a little further than uh, where it should be. Um, uh, I had something just, it was a feeling I was after we won game six in Toronto, and that's how I was feeling at that moment. Um, I'm back to my usual self. <laughs> I'm no longer appreciating what I've been able to do. <laughs> Joe over here in the second row. LeBron, Joe Varden, Cleveland.com. Um, a quick, uh, funny one. Do you Have you ever taken an Uber? Uh, <laughs> uh, I have, but I don't have an account. <laughs> okay. And then um, the, the, real, the real one here uh, is a couple weeks ago when you were talking about the MVP and a bunch of us in this room and across the country took it as though you were sliding Steph, and, and Steph replied, and you know, it made for all sorts of headlines. But beyond that, is there some sort of tension now or a rivalry there between you two just because of, you know, last year you were in the finals and you're here again? Well, um, uh, first of all, I made the mistake by even answering the question because I knew where it was going to go. And I guarantee that how it was phrased to Steph uh, wasn't how I answered the question. So obviously his reaction was what it was. Um, and I've been there before as well. So um, Steph was definitely the MVP of our league and is an MVP in our league and is a great basketball player. And uh, what he does for this league is, uh, and is amazing. Um, and then the question was asked, if I had a vote, um, you know, what, what would the difference be between most valuable and MVP? So I gave my opinion. So obviously you guys ran with it. Um, but I don't know. You guys, um, you guys make rivals. Um, I mean, that's. I think it's great for our. I think it's great for the sport. It's great for all sports. Um, I don't think me and Steph. We talk about rivalries. You talk about Carolina Duke. You talk about Ohio State, Michigan. It's hard to say LeBron and Steph. 
Um, if there's a, a smaller scale of another word for arrival, um, the fact that we're going you know back to back, um, I think it's um, it's pretty unique. It's pretty unique to, um, to be in this position and uh, you know just to have another opportunity, you know, and another opportunity for guys to write about it, for us to play it, for people to talk about it um, throughout the world. And um, you know, I'm blessed that I can be a part of um, of conversations. Edgar in the center. Henry Wolford with Comcast Sportsnet Bay Area. LeBron, we often see in boxing a boxer looking forward to a rematch against the boxer who he lost to. Did it matter who you were facing in the finals? Did you want the rematch against the Warriors, or were you just as happy and satisfied if you were taking on the Thunder? Um, it, it didn't matter for us. Um, it was too hard for us to kind of Throughout our postseason run, we we can't we wasn't looking over on the west side, seeing what was going on as far as who we like to play because that would have been sliding our composition or our competition and who we were going against from Detroit to Atlanta to Toronto. We, we was just focusing on our job, and if we're and if we were fortunate enough to win four games in the first series, four games in the second series, then four in the conference finals, then. Um, Whoever our next opponent was going to be, we was going to be uh, well prepared for it. And uh, so it, it didn't matter for sure. Dave over here. LeBron, Dave McBenham and ESPN. Uh, talking, like Jay said, you appreciate history. Andy Vajja is the first player ever to be traded from one team in the middle of the season and then play for the opposing team in the NBA Finals. With that context to it, and you in the past have called him one of your you know, favorite teammates you, you've suited up with. What do you what do you think about the you know the fact that you'll be going up against him with the title on the line? Um, I think it's um, you know good things happen to good people. You know, so you know either way he would have been part of, of the finals, and uh, you know he's done so much. I mean his career he sacrificed a lot, and uh, for him to be in this position, um, I, I think it's I think it's great. You know for him and for his family. Uh, no matter what has happened, you know, he would have been here anyways. Jeff in the back. Jeff Zogat, USA Today. Le- LeBron, when you return to Cleveland, there's the idea uh, of, you know, obviously trying to bring a championship to Cleveland, to the Cavaliers. How have you been able to minimize what, you know, a lot of people think is an immense amount of pressure? Um, I don't really get involved into the whole pressure thing. I think um, I've exceeded expectations in my life uh, as a professional. Um, I'm a statistic that was supposed to go the other way, you know, growing up in inner city, having a single parent household it was just me and my mother. So um, everything that I've done has been a success. So, you know, as far as the game of basketball, I just go out and play it and have fun and love it and give and be true to the game and to my teammates and, and uh, and live with the results. So I don't, it don't really get to me too much. Mark in the second row. LeBron, Mark Schwartz, ESPN, following up on Dave's question about Andy. Uh, how would you characterize, given his corporate knowledge of the Cleveland Cavaliers, your level of concern about his knowledge playing a role in this series? Well, we're a totally different team than when he left. And secondly, no matter how the series turns out, should he – Earn a ring either way. Uh, I mean, that's not it's not for me to debate, or um, you know, for for me, I'm just trying to uh, put our team in the best best position to uh, to win game one and to uh, move on to the next game. But I haven't even I can't even go that far down the line right now. Lisa Sue from Tencent. Um, at the end of the regular season, you were talking about.